Is there a way out of the city via where I warp to? Because I just want to mess around. We're back with more fun in the wasteland. I say this and I clearly can't do anything right. There we go. <coughs> now, I'm supposed to be going to Paradise Falls. But, I want to dink around a little bit. Because I have several map markers that I want to get to. Such as Rock Creek Cabins. Look, honey, I don't care, you pretty. I'm just going to take the arrow and be done with it. I definitely don't want to head into the city because knowing my luck, I will get lost. Why am I hearing a lot of kabooms? I don't like hearing a several series of kabooms. Okay, which ones did I actually bring with me? Yeah, let's put them through his paces. You say that. It looks to me like you're bleeding. Oh, I got two random map markers here. Those aren't doors I can go into. They normally don't have broken parts on them. You know, it took you several swings to realize you couldn't hit me. No, no, I'm not gonna. Ooh, third location marker. I remember this station. So he's got a raider camp on the other side. with surprisingly good super mutants.
You're not allowed. I will take that. I sold mine. And I feel bad for it. Drugs. <clears throat> drugs. Only in a video game are they ever useful. With the exception of Advil and Tylenol. Because, yes. I do require Advil and Tylenol on a date. Well, it sucks. I'm not 100% sure how well it's getting. Ay, ay, ay. Yoink. Ouch! It's really hurt me. I mean, that was kind of fun. Again. Ouch! And that's a respawning random event, I might add. Okay, let's stick on track. I get lost all the time. Now let's see what's down here. So for a decent bit. Okay. I haven't found the special sniper rifle yet, but I haven't found that church yet.
Okay, I get it. You're pretty. Not nice. Can you stop doing that, please? I am trying to shoot you in the face. back and see where that first staircase was going to lead. The only thing I love about Fallout 4, being able to actually have health regeneration by level 20. So what is down here? Piddly! Came back for nothing. That's the exit, that's right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Down into the caverns we go. I can't remember if there's anything special here. Look, Meyer Lurk Hunter, I get it, you're pretty, but you don't gotta keep giving me a kiss. It's really not necessary, and I don't want it. That's a king. Either I'm a high enough level for them to spawn, or there's always a king in here. I honestly don't know. Can't you just swipe at me like everybody else does? All your money shall belong to me. He 
Even your king swipes at me. I thought I saw his eye twitch. that's buried. Okay, so it really didn't leave me too much. That's fine, though. That's fine. I mean, experience. Sell it. For ammo and guns and stuff. Taking all your food. <laughs> right, 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 right. I forgot you had that. Well, I half remember. They have a psionic attack. I don't think she's dead. She's just vibing. Fist. 
Oh yeah, she's just vibing. Well, I think I'm done here. Had my fun. I hate my works. Well, looks like I'm not quite dead now. Uh, of course there's a hunter. Why would there not be a hunter? They seem to just absolutely freaking love me. Well, at least I found the exit. If there was another exit, I couldn't see it. Like, I mean, I don't think there was. Creek Caverns. That wasn't worth it. sludge. Right. The 
National Guard Depot. You can unlock it. But I will be unable to finish it. Yeah, you guys just go away. <coughs> I'm not going in there right now, mainly because I don't have everything. Ooh. That is an enclave outpost. Hi, um, excuse me. Boyos. I need ammo. Ow. No, look. Honey, honey, honey. said I needed ammo, not to get shot. I'm sorry, but you were red on my marker. I'm going to take that flamer. Trying to survive? Oh, I hate the Enclave. For that kind of stupid crap, I hate them. Like, seriously, why? I get it. Must purge the world of impurities, blah, blah, blah. You guys know better than the Brotherhood for that some days, but. The same flip of the coin. I wonder if they even fought back. Okay, am I on track for the vault? I am on track for the vault. At least I have a new toy. One useful thing about hunting those enclave outposts. You're a robo brain. Vault 108. What's this one? I know the big building over there is. It's actually Canterbury Commons, where all those traders end up going through. I can invest in those traders, it greatly increases their repairing ability, so I can use them to actually repair my gear really well. Is this the Corvega factory? America, this is President John Henry Heaton, and I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. 
bad I bought. Nobody wants to listen to you. As cool as I think the Enclave is, and as much as I would absolutely love to have more of their involvement in the Fallout games... I don't know. You have the Corvega factory. Which would have made this blip over here... I see it. Easily Vault 108. Now we'll come back to Vault 108 in a bit because I'm almost fully over encumbered so I would like to offload some gear. Rad Scorpion Poison Glands. Sell well. are just everywhere I don't want you to be. But you have a plasma pistol. That was weird. Okay, so it's no ING. That helps. back. I don't know if this terminal actually tells me anything. Monstrous has nothing. Okay. Yeah, no S at the end. The R is wrong. R is fourth. Hmm. Okay. So, where'd you go? Hold on, what? You had a ripper. Ah, that's what shot me, okay. I don't like them being so close to Canterbury Commons. That just bugs me. 
Now, right up this hill is the mechanist's lair. I'll take that. Or if I didn't help that slave in Rivet City, that slave map would have given me the same location. Yeah, and right here, this circle area is where the traders usually show up when they return to Canterbury Commons. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the Mechanist. You and your pathetic tin can are no match for my army. <laughs> The citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The Mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his sin toy. Go Are you all right? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. That must be the 20th time I've seen those two go at it. There are problem citizens, the mechanist and the ant agonizer. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. That was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. I might be able to help. Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Great! I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Ha! Damn near everything I suspect. I found it the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Have you thought about organizing them into a unified group? I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. Hmm, I think you're right. And the specialization might play to their eccentricities. It could work. And I could act as their representative in this matter. Goodness knows I've known them for years, so I should be able to speak for them. Just let me know what you suggest in the way of specialties, and I'll let them know to focus on that area. Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith, adventurer, martial artist, and occasional collector of the most deadly items known to mankind. He's a bit of an eccentric, but he deals in more weaponry than you can shake a sharp stick at. In fact, he's probably got a sharp stick, too. Harith's got quite a lot of weapons, but I'm sure he could improve his stock. An investment of 200 caps should see to that nicely. Excellent! Harith will be delighted! He usually is by most things, really. 
If Harith were a less reputable man, I'm sure he could use his armory to collect even more weapons. But he's a merchant, not a raider. So it's legitimate means only. Like a legitimate investment of 500 caps. Yep. An investment in weaponry is usually returned in short order, after all. I'll inform Harith. That simply isn't feasible, I'm afraid. Harith's gear already rivals some mercenary <laughs> armies. Anything further would be asking for trouble. Sure. Armor. He it's the same thing. 200 for one, 500 for the next. Food and chems. And then Crazy Wolfgang. With At the moment, we'll All right. Good. That took a lot of my money, but I will be making it back. Like, that's not a problem at all. Especially with the amount of stuff they're now going to be carrying, it's worth it when you run into them. And as you saw, they do come and show up around Megaton. Now, the reason I'm coming in here... I believe it's this one. I could be wrong. Yeah, I went in the wrong building. So I can steal what you guys have in here. Pair those together. that for the sake of argument. Yeah, this was the wrong building in town for that special item. I know there's one more building I should be able to enter. A garage of some kind. Good to see you. Maybe that was right, and I'm just blind. I think I'm being blind. Yeah, I think I'm being blind. I'm definitely being blind. Hey, hey there. Hey, Dominic. Ooh, Dean's electronics. I will gladly read that. Good thing I came back in here. I'm not sitting on any others. There it is. The special tire iron. The highwayman's friend. I am making it a point to collect as many of the special weapons as I can. <coughs> this mission does make it a little difficult to do that. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Because you have to choose which one you want to do, and even if you side with both and go the most peaceful option, you don't get their special weapons. The Antagonizer gives you a special Ripper, and the Mechanist gives you a special Laser Pistol. That's the one I'm going for, because it's more my speed. But, first things first. So 12 hours would take me at the same time, we'll go 17. Now that I've helped out all the traders 100%, their gear will be better and they even give me a reward. Now who's going to show up today?
Doesn't look like anybody's here today. So we'll go 24 hours. I love watching the light change as the sun moves during the wait screen. That is a nice touch. To me, I think it's a nice touch. Oh, come on. You guys are supposed to show up here. Or is it over by the water tower? No, but that is something I am taking care of right now. That was nasty. Okay, I really want these traders to show up so I don't look like a complete fool. I know everybody believes me because I don't lie about this game. I might forget stuff. But I do not lie. I don't like being a liar. There we go. Which one did I get? I got the good doctor. Yeah. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good. F Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall you we? You have a nuka grenade. And stim packs. I have stuff to sell to you. I can now make a new grenade. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes? My investor arrives at last. This line of work doesn't allow for much sentiment, but how could I not offer you some material token of my thanks? In that case here, the gift of health. Rarely given in this day and age, but all too often taken. And he gave me six impacts. I mean, it might not seem like much, but... Let's face it, that's pretty good. And if we wait 24 hours, another one should show up here. And sometimes, if you're lucky, all four will actually show up right here in this rotunda. And it's still the doctor, which is weird. Come on, I want one of the other guys. They all give me goodies, and I want goodies. Okay, I seriously am not going insane, am I? Okay. Pretty sure with all that random time I just wasted. Eh, I'm not going to see if they've respawned. 
forget that. I'm just gonna go up into the mechanist's lair. I'm joking, I do actually want one of the other guys to show up. I want to show all the rewards. I know I could do it at any old time, but I might forget. ADD and ADHD are a fun thing to play with. I'll uh, see you another. Wahoo. Who do we have today? Is it Crow? Hey there. Crow. And here you are. The spirits have blessed me with many gifts, but you have given the more marketable gift of monetary investment. Please accept this offering. A mask and helmet made from the hide of the wisest spirits of the wind. May it benefit you as fully as it has myself. Crow's eyebot helmet. And now if we go to buy from him. See if anything calls out to you. He has a lot of stuff, including power armor that he has found. Thanks. And if you May. go to repair, he's at 65. Higher than a lot of others. Now. Because I just want to repair my combat armor. Thank you. Now, Crow's Eyebot Helmet. Gives you plus one to perception. And, honestly... I like it. It's sad when any of these traders end up meeting a sad fate because somebody decides to go and get lippy with them while we're exploring the wastes. I'll cancel that there. That's Doc again. Devil. Doc, listen to me. I don't need you. I need Lucky Harith or Crazy Wolfgang. Please. Would you stop being the one to show? Uh... I don't think I could ever sleep setting up. Those that do, I swear it's a superpower. Okay, I'm starting to think that me sitting there waiting is just going to be pointless. I'd probably have more luck if I quick warped back and forth between a couple of places. Robot Repair Center. How may I love you today?
Ah, trap. See the wires? If you actually drink out of it, you're going to get hurt. But if you go to the back, you can take the microfusion cells. Tiny bit of experience. But you get 35 microfusion cells. Yo, mechie boy. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, and he's got a sentry bot. That's beautiful. And when I sold all my pulse grenades... Don't want to use a missile launcher. I'll just keep using E3.1s. Rifle. I don't want to go through the terminal to make my life easier. Where's the fun in that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nikola Tesla and you. Damn, energy weapons just went up. That makes me very happy. It was the only option, because I think I chose those other three. Shut down security in Sector B. I hope you all have a nice day, too. What are you doing in here? How did you get past my defenses? Did the antagonizer send you? No, no, no. Speak now, citizen, or I'll be forced to detain you until I can ascertain your true motives. Oh. Well, in that case, welcome. Welcome, dear citizen. But an ordinary citizen no longer, eh? Hmm. You'll be my sidekick. I hereby grant you the title of Mechanolas. Well then, my trusty chum, 
Shall we prepare to defeat our nemesis? Is... is that true? Have I really become a... Am I really the villain? I... Here, please. I'm sorry. Just leave me alone. I've got a lot to think about. Don't want to do it that way. I don't want to do it that way. Because if I do, I don't get his special gun. What are you doing in here? The anti- She's nothing. But I will not. I think you've got skill books up here as well. That was one way to get to him. I know there's another way, I just can't quite remember. Pretty sure it was upstairs. When I first found it, I was highly impressed. through here and it's just an office oh hey look at that line congressional style useful and then you see a wall that's out of the ordinary I mean, if that just doesn't spin cool, I don't know what does. But now, drop down, hurt myself a little bit, that's fine. Now we're gonna go deal with the antagonizer. Now, I can get her to stop and not kill her. She will give me her armor, and I take it back to him. And I get his reward, so there's still, in a manner of speaking, a peaceful way to get rid of the situation. And I do want to do that. But I also realized that I forgot to offload all of my darn... ...meat. This time. 
Would you stop being the only one that shows up, please? I'm getting a headache. Stop being the only one. Stop. Please, just stop. I want Lucky Harith. Even Crazy Wolfgang. Anybody. Just anybody. <laughs> I don't get why he's the only one showing up. This is weird. Is it because I just haven't gone away? Can't be because Crow shows up. Looking to trade? Yeah. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. I got a lot of power on me this time, there, dude. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Thank you. Hey. Hi. The antagonizer's lair is actually just over here. Which in some ways is hilarious. I do have the quest, right? Yeah. Come on. right next to a generator. I think that stealth boy can get some fun. At least these ones don't spit fire.
Oh, Auntie, I'm coming for that booty. <coughs> Not gonna lie, if I spoke to the antagonizer, I would actually call her Auntie. Because it would be funny to me. So at last, you've penetrated the court of the Antagonizer, queen of all ants. Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? Ha <laughs> ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Yep. Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished well. with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. Perhaps. But I'll snuff those chances soon enough. Now, my royal guard, kill this commoner! Madam. You messed with the wrong commoner. There are other ways to do it. This round, I'm not worried about it, though. Okay, this is annoying. The Ripper's not as great as I thought. Why would I even think it was good? What's wrong with me? Oh, the answer is a lot, but you know. Okay, so I'm gonna run away now. Because it is hilarious to think that. Above anything else, you're actually gonna survive. Satisfying. My weak tire iron did more than... I'm just... Sorry, I'm half distracted. That unfortunately happens to me a heck of a lot more than people might think.
feel like walking. You have defeated the vile antagonizer, and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. Hand it to me, and I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Quickly then, evil... Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, Canterbury Commons is safe. And for your loyal Isabel. assistance, I'm honored to present you with this laser pistol, crafted from my last loyal robot assistant. May it guide you well. But the mechanist cannot rest. Not while there's evil afoot in the wasteland. Farewell. Yeah, you lose karma for doing it that way. But I did it for a weapon. Protectron's gaze. It's as powerful. Hey, knock it off. Oh, shut up. Though. Now this is a funny thing. There's nothing stopping you from killing him and taking both suits of armor. I'm not going to because I could care less. I honestly just wanted the laser pistol. It was all I wanted and I am not ashamed of it. It's still crow. It really is. Top game. Oh, you make me want to go to Megaton. Holy moly. I am doing it. No, stop that. Welcome. 
Hey, you, I'm gonna talk to you. With all of that fighting, I never... Welcome... That's... Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your... Thank you, I got experience. Completed another quest. And now I don't have a quest marker plugging up my HUD. It, it really does seem weird that I can't get anybody else to show up. I want Crazy Wolfgang to show up. There's Lucky Harith. Sweet. Okay. Game's not entirely broken. I hear you're my mysterious investor. With your help, I've collected quite a few toys for myself. But what good are toys if they aren't played with? Thanks to you, I have so many, I can hardly play with them all. So, <laughs> I present to you a prize of the collection. A micro nuk. Enjoy it in safety. Now, his repair skill is 70. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Take your pick. He is one of my favorites. Aside from he knows how to bring all the good toys. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Hey oh, there. It's my combat helmet. Okay, so now that I've gotten him to show up, I'm going to wait another 24 hours. Last traitor, Crazy Wolfgang, please. Yes. I hear you're the one who's so deeply invested in my junk. Not as deeply as me, of course, but who is, really. I picked up some stealth boys the other day, and they seemed like just the way to thank you for your investment. Kudos. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need, assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Like the rocket launcher schematic. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Whatever you've got, I've got just the thing to fix it. 75. Okay, it's 75, but he is the highest in the wasteland. Thank you. Hey there. Now, let's head to the vault. That's not what you like to see. We can tell this one's been open for quite some time, given the level of rust that's in here. Q. 
can't remember what the story of this one is. Gary 42. <laughs> I don't think this is the Gary vault. And that is a thing. Looks like they tried to get to some armaments and failed. Mole rats probably got them ahead of time. Nope, this is the Gary Vault. Cloning lab. Oh, hell, I don't even have to use my pistol, but I will. This vault is literally loaded with just clones. And the story is interesting. Because anybody who's used to the Fallout universe knows every vault had a set of experiments that they did. <laughs> Gary! No! This one was dedicated to cloning. Now, the clones, when they were made, were always hostile. So clearly something was wrong with the cloning process. But they were not hostile to each other. Gary. Apparently all they know how to say is Gary. This is the first clone. The only one that uses a pistol. It's a weird vault. Kind of amusing, but weird nonetheless. Outline congressional style, that's gonna help. Did not mean to do that. I didn't want to take a drug. But you also get the charisma bobblehead. Which makes my speech and my barter skills better. <laughs> Gary. I actually wonder if the Garys resorted to cannibalism after all the food was eaten. It's the only way I can feasibly think that they were able to survive this long without anything else. Unless that's what the mole rats were for. They let the mole rats in for food. It's hard to say. Cloning log.
Oh, it's just uh, a reading one. So that's where you learn what happened in the Gary Vault. Everything? No, I did not. Follow this up and I gotta go left. Experience! Yeah, right at the end of the hallway I gotta go left so I can continue exploring this vault. barricaded themselves in. It does make you kind of wonder. Like, it's the female dorm. It makes you wonder what's actually back there. Did the ladies hold out for a long time until they just succumb to death. Did the Garys inevitably find another way through to get to the women? And inevitably murder them, because that seems to be all the Garys wanted to do. Actually, getting shot. Hmm? Well, that was surprising to see somebody with a gun. Normally, they're just all melee. Am I killing your food supply, Gary? The reactor was also barricaded. Closet. Not a whole heck of a lot there. And in terms of the vaults, luckily a lot of them are laid out exactly the same. Which in some ways it makes sense. vault -Tec would probably make them all look relatively the same. Sears office somewhere. No. But we're back at the entrance. And that's it. That's all for the Gary Vault. <laughs> as neat as that is. Now, next on my list of places to go... Temple of the Union, just north of the end... North... North... West of the Antagonizer's Lair...
It's that building right there. That's the Temple of the Union. Home of the Slaves. I may as well stop in and say hi. Might as well. Fly. You know, I'm not having you disable a quest. Definitely got to start putting that up. Now see, normally I wouldn't do this because it puts points into the energy weapon skill, but it also gives me... Damage resistance. Damage poison and rad resistance. That's helpful. Tag is also useful, if you want to do it. But Cyborg? Definitely. It showed Action Girl as I was leaving. I did just take Cyborg, right? Okay, good. Though, that did make my Protectron's gaze a little bit stronger. Even if just a little bit. Bolts are pretty good for being a pistol. What's your business, stranger? Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep your hands in sight and don't make any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. I could open it myself. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. I could jump out the window, lady. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? Welcome, sister, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. We don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? 
For 23 years, I was a slave. Ever since I was 14. Six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. May the spirit... Ah, it is our newest... Now that I've got that out of the way. Till I find the slavers at the Lincoln Memorial, his quest doesn't actually progress. It's a little annoying, but let's face it, it happens. Okay, so what's up this way? Well, as much as I want to... I'm going to Minefield, and I'm going to continue the primary quest because, well, I did just level up, and I do want it. Quests. Rescue from Paradise. I am so glad they never made other variants of Yao Guai in this game. Like, they could have to up the difficulty as you get stronger, but at the same time, thank god they did not. I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. I'll come back. There's another quest to be had here. But I'll be back. I got songs playing in my head right now.
just a random explosion. And it was just a single random explosion. I wonder. He did not stay put. 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 <laughs> oh, he certainly took a flying leap. Just a robot. If it was a robot, that'd be very misleading. Yeah, I'm thinking it was just a robot. I was hoping the event happened where an alien spacecraft actually explodes in the sky. In which case, you're able to actually get the uh, Firehawk special alien blaster. <coughs> It's a random event, so you gotta hope it happens. <coughs> Looks like I was unlucky for this one. Dag nabbit. Never find the entrance to Paradise Falls. So pretty. Freaking Lee. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. Are you kidding me? You've never heard of Paradise Falls? What? Are you right out of the vault? Paradise Falls is home to the slavers. Up there we sell the slaves that we capture out in the wastes. So, unless you're either buying or selling, piss off. Yep, and if you're not tough enough to survive, at least you can be useful to those of us who are. There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. So, unless you're looking to become a slave, piss off. We might be able to work something out, but it won't be cheap. If I vouch for you and you go mess up our groove, it's my ass on the line. I think 500 caps should cover it. What do you say? Thank you. Pl Friendly warning. Don't act like a jackass. He's actually got... Uh... Unique item. Ain't no reason to stick around here, is there? 
It's not necessarily a gun. It's called the Mesmatron. You can do a quest for him if you want to do an evil storyline. And essentially... Oh god, Wade, you gotta help us. You gotta get us out of here. The fuck you looking at, huh? He did it. Dumb shit should have known the collar would blow. Now somebody's got to clean up this mess. You gotta help. You just gotta. I can't keep talking to you. Or else he'll shoot me. Hey, back away from the kid. Now this place is perfect if you're doing an evil story. Like Watch your step, Square. But yeah, the Mesmatron will make someone's head go all woozy. Then you slap a slave collar on them. And then you get paid for every slave that you end up bringing in. So it's a good way to make caps and also push forward your evil storyline. You, sir, sleep in a dump. You need a new shooter, Chica? I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. No, I'm not. <coughs> and luckily, if I'm not mistaken, everybody here is open at all times. So it is a decent place for you to go and actually live. One wrong move, if and you're, you're going in the meat pen. There's also a unique weapon here. I can't remember exactly where it is. You caught anything lately? How'd that roundup go? What do you want? Oh, nothing to do with any of you. You went out with Emer last week, didn't you? Catch anything good? It could be worse. Put that down, would you? I want that on the tape. I'm not in. Do they want to burn it? I don't remember. Like I told you, man, I don't fucking know where it came from. But it freaks the boys out. Some story from a while back about a stranger with no name. Just get rid of the damn thing. You don't look like you Ain't no good gonna come from keeping it around. Besides, if it is his, maybe he'll come back for it. Comprende? I think that's the one about the uh, vault dweller that went insane and talked with puppets. I could have sworn there was a special, like, unique variant pool cue here. I could be getting dungeons mixed up, but... But I could have swore. I could have swore. Watch your step, Square. I will smack you. I could also just be looking in the wrong place, because that's just me.
Can I steal the key off his body? Or her body? No, I can't. Or is it over here? Yeah, there it is. The break. <coughs> it's literally just a special pool cue. And eulogies pad. And now a super important public service announcement. Just a friendly reminder to all you would-be bigots out there. Ghouls are people. Alright. Hey, eulogy. Don't mind eulogy. Daddy don't pay no attention to us. My speech is now higher. May as well get some experience while I'm here. Purifying. Remember. Hmm. Reported as well. Reported was closer. There we go. You notice how stealing here? You're not hit with, uh... Oh my god, you're stealing negative karma. Okay, I know there's a skill book here, and I think it's upstairs. Ooh, quantum. It's a quantum. Need it for another side quest. Do 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 do. thought there was one. Hey, lady! Can you get us out of here? Can't you just shoot them all? Well, I mean, Squirrel thinks maybe he could use the computer in here to turn off the collars. Squirrel's good with computers, and they don't know he made this one work again. But it's a... It, it's not connected or something. Hang on. I'll get Squirrel, and he can tell you what to do. Hey, that's the Mungo. We'll talk to her. <laughs> You're the Mungo that's helping us, huh? Sammy says she wants to know the plan. Well, listen up, Mungo, because it's a good one. I'm super smart. Okay, cool. You'll like it, really. It's going to work. I know it. We're stuck behind the fence here. But even if we get past the fence and the Mungos with guns, we still can't leave. They got these collars on us, right? Make us blow up if we try and get out. No way to get the collars off, so we gotta stop them from blowing up. So I found this old terminal in the building here. Dusty, but it turns on with a little fixing. Like I said, I'm super smart. I know they use a terminal to turn the collars on and off. So if you can link the terminals, 
I can turn the collars off and they won't even know. Then we just gotta open the fence, sneak past the mongos with guns, and get the hell out of here. Sounds good, right? You in? I told you, it's in the boss guy's room. You gotta sneak in there or something. Oh, come on. Aren't you mongos good for anything? Listen, if you can't make that work, there might be one other way to do it. Even there's a junction box along the wall in the eating area. Switch a few cables there and we're good. So there you go. Either you better be pretty good at fixing stuff, or you better learn how to use a terminal real fast. I love how angry he gets. <coughs> Get out of here! They see me talking to you, I'm dead! <laughs> and this one over here is the bathroom. Sorry, Mr. Eulogy. Daddy's a good girl. Welcome to Paradise Fall, my dear. I wanted his hat. What? Well, that's totally how you use a gun. Like, yeah. Hey, Mungo, we're getting out of here, right? What's up, Mungo? You fixed? All right. You're okay. So we're one step closer to get. Well, with the terminal, I can turn off the collars and open up the gate. But they're not gonna just let us walk out of here, you know? There's always at least one guard near the pen. And someone's gotta get rid of him. Since we can't just walk around like we own the place, you Okay. Watch it. Range for 40 to be away from the slave pen. Still holding that gun. We got a reason to be talking... I Huh? Yeah, I mean, they pay well enough, I guess. Maybe. And maybe it's time to see eulogy about a raise. <laughs> oh, my speech is nice sometimes. So what's the deal, Mungo? Oh, don't worry. We're out of here. Me and Sammy can make it no problem. The drain in the bathroom is small. We'll fit through, but Mungo's can't. But you gotta tell Penny it's time to go. She's being all dumb and won't listen to us. You gotta talk to her. This Mungo, Roy McLaren. She got all sweet on him or something. I don't know. It's some stupid girl thing. But they threw him in the box because he was giving them shit. And they won't let him out. So Penny says she ain't going until she knows she's safe. Hell, I don't know. Go talk to her. Me and Sammy are getting out of here now, though. If you can get her to come. You're the Mongo that helped Sammy and Squirrel, aren't you? Well, I already told them. I'm... told Sammy and Squirrel. What are you gonna You'll ha You have to get Rory out of the box. He's locked in there, and the guards have the key. I think Forty has one. Probably the boss guy has it. Oh, I've already 
got the key. I've already talked to Rory. You again? What are you doing? What? Are you kidding me? This is another one of 40 sh She did? Is she safe? Can I see her? Penny? She wanted... I owe that little girl a lot. I'll have to try and make it up to her someday. Okay. You got it all. All right. I don't know, I'm just... You know, bread box. It's a weird name is all. There's gotta be a good story. Is Rory safe yet? You say Thank you so Now I have to get out. Don't follow me. Well, you know how they like to mess with you? They used to mess with me too. All right. Easy enough, I'd say. How's the meat? Well, I mean... Oops. <laughs> oh, that was bad. I shouldn't be laughing. But I am laughing. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Can't believe Lucky Harris actually comes here. Looking to make a trade? That is neat. We're free. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess that's it. We're going back home now. You ever come out that way, you stop and say hi. I'll tell Mayor not to shoot you, okay? Ah hey! We're out of that shit box! If you ever go a little lamplight, I'll tell Mayor that you're okay. And he'll let you in, okay, Mungo? Now I can actually continue the quest for picking up the trail. Because I can get in. Alright, McCready, you're gonna let me in. And I like that they brought McCready back and followed four as a grown-up. You again? I told you to get lost! I already told- Oh yeah? Well, why didn't you say so, you stupid mungo? Jerk. Sorry, I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. Time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Hey. Hi. There's a dude in here I want to talk to. Oh, my yeah, eyes bugging me. Need to find the kid with the lisp.
there he is. Hello, I'm Billy. Welcome to Little Lamp Light. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my laser rifle? 500 caps, and it's all yours. And you're not get. Okay. Here we go. Don't want to wake him up yet. I'm going to go back, sell some stuff so I can get it, because it's the unique variant laser rifle. That's just a place of the random workbench. <laughs> How is it I always end up getting lost in this place? In any place in this game? Am I just that weird? Maybe. I mean, I am a weirdo, so it, it kind of goes hand in hand. Oh, hey, excuse me, hey. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? Oh, that's good, because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, gotten Nuka-Cola? Because if I'm not going to have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more Nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that, because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. Yeah, more Nuka's always good. It's definitely always gooder than less. Because no Nuka's no good at all. Got any Nuka for me? I'll trade you whatever I got for more Nuka-Cola. Anytime. Nuka for Zip. Nuka for Zip. I got an old magazine with five five sixes. Is that good enough for you? Yay, nuke! That's, that's all I got right now. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> He's amusing. Watch it. Hey, you. Okay, RJ had better. Ha because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food. Oh, great. Maybe next. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for bringing them back in one piece. If you need what passes for food down here, look me up. Name's Eclair. If you so much a snicker, I'll carve you up for steaks. Sure thing. I am that close. You know, that's just rude. <clears throat> I'm going to dump this for now. Let me know if you need anything else. All right, time to go get the unique variant of the laser rifle. Hey. One of the several unique variants, actually. It's the only unique variant in the vanilla Fallout 3, so, like, no expansions whatsoever. They did make a couple others, or at least one other that I remember outright. Care to talk? No, I'm here to see Billy. Hey, Billy. 
I'd like your ways a waifle. Hello, I'm Billy. Welcome to Little Lamp White. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the... What? Already heard it. Why wasn't this there before? That's not a lot. But okay. Bye now. Bam. A321s is still better, but I like the laser. Hello, miss. We don't go there. somebody okay let's go speak to somebody that can let me in But I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. Perfect. Hey, hey Joseph. Same as ever. Okay, bye. All right. Well, now here's something new. What's? Don't tell me. My... That was you. Well, my most sincere thanks then. You brought my sister Penny back to me, and I couldn't ask more than that. I'm Joseph, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching. Say. If you're ever looking for a haircut. Nuh uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here. Excuse me. Who are you? What do you. You said Penny and Sammy and Squirrel? I can see why RJ let you in. Thanks for all of us. I'm Lucy, and I pretty much spend my days playing mommy around here. I spend a lot of time kissing boo-boos and making things better. <laughs> if you get a scraped knee or stubbed toe. And because she's not in her clinic, she won't sell me anything. Okay. You sh yeah, if you want to hear the story, 
You can come and do it yourself. I want to get moving. Watch it. The next area is very annoying. Okay, there you go. The computer is... Security... Defended? Thank you, thank you. Kill some super meaties. Steven's personal journal. Eh. Yeah, that takes me to where murder passes. Oh no. It's literally just a dead end. Hello. Currently, you guys are only good for experience. Carry the super sledge for the reason that I actually get a unique super sledge here from a companion. You know, you say that. Now try and hide. <laughs> I don't want to hide. If you want to have your, uh, 
you take a face full of laser. That was adorable. Ooh. Right, I repaired it. That's right, bow to me. I'm your master. Anyway. Just wanted to be sure, just wanted to be sure, so this should lead me up top, right? That's barricaded off. Yeah. them are actually using assault rifles. I may as well start playing a little bit. Railway spikes. Pugilism <laughs> illustrated. Do you think you guys can level me up? It would be greatly appreciated. So then I think I'm going to actually raise my lockpicking skill up to 100. Why? Because yes. Picking skill is at seven. So by doing that, should take it straight to a hundred, right? Yeah, your accuracy in VATS is slightly increased with 200 weapons. Yeah, since I had 80 before... Yeah. Hmm. It's on a very fine thing.
darn it. Got it. I don't even know what that actually did. Oh. Oh. Didn't really do anything. At least not what I consider something. But I got experience for it, so... That counts as a positive for me. <laughs> there you are! <coughs> Lots of cigarettes and lots of other stuff there. Of twenty bobby pins. Okay, so ING is out. <coughs> terminal is actually good for reading. It explains where the super mutants actually came from in this particular place. Where does this lead to test labs? Okay, I want to do one last piece of exploring down here. Going good.
so it's over that way, is it? Thank you, thank you. That is a super mutant that failed to get created. Now try it. I was sitting on a peak of Lizzie Mellow Street going down. <coughs> eh, just lore. chamber in which the Geth resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Geth safely in your hands. At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, I'm glad to see... You are a sensible person. Now.
I can also do it this way. Information. No. Brotherhood? That would have been hilarious. Residential. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. This one really does not want me to let him out the way that I want to. That's evil. That's just evil. Oh, wow. I will get him out this way. Okay, personality seems to be a thing. So it's not ION. Because they both ended in ION, but only three on examination. I will do it this way, I refuse to give up. Okay, so no ING, that takes that out. Got it. No, I wanted to do it that way.
He's just crazy. Bam. Did not have to go through and fight everybody. Finally! Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part. What did you need? Yes, by all means, let's. Now he's just got a regular one. And now we just follow him. Come on.
stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Dude, I don't remember if they actually do or not. I don't think so. But, eh, you know. As promised, yeah, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. And we will, too. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain she's unharmed? Yes, sir. She'll pass out shortly, but we can revive her. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. Right away, sir. Oh, uh, what a jerk. Hi. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier. Now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? I'm waiting. Very well. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? Affirmative, sir. Standing by for code transmission. Your code is 704. Repeat. 704. Confirm and enter. Copy. 704. Stand by, sir. Entering code now. Negative, sir. The code's no good. I just lost another man. Why do you insist on making things difficult? Because maybe I should start shooting. How much blood you think you can afford to lose before you tell me what I want to know? Colonel, <clears throat> I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, a load at last. 
I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Aww, aren't you nice? That also made it so I can't equip my hat. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. There's a full complement of guards. Full compliment to guards can kiss my ass. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president, Chief. I've invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede her progress. Thank you for your cooperation. They're not who they say they are. Get out while you can, before they get you too. Supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. You're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. Hello. After a little bit, Colonel Autumn gets on there and he ruins everything. Disappoint. But now I can use the laser rifle without feeling bad because I have so many guns in here that's going to allow me to fix it. Hello. Was that you that was shooting at me? It was. You're so adorable, dude. Me and my pimp hat got you running. Laser rifle is very useful. Wait, what? How did I not loot that even though I looted the other? You know, I don't just not even gonna think about it. It was this one that I looted. Yeah. Retreating! 
I'm seriously just on the other side of the wall, you idiots. I could hear you. Hey, you. With the decapitation. Or disintegration, I mean, take the pick. I think A321's plasma rifle is in need of a little repair. Thank you. Oh, okay, it's just a red bridge. Sorry, but I know how this is going to play out, honey. So it's better I did that. Just I don't care about the rat race. experience. Okay. Okay. Is this just leading me to the... Yeah, it's just leading me back to the cells. So that's where I am. Yeah. Hey, come back here, please. If I could run, I'd catch you a little easier. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to shoot you. I just want to talk. Oh, hi. Thank you for heading out. Take my equipment to get rid of my quick buttons. I gotta re put my stim points. Okay, first things first. Smack people around with foxes, super sludge. Retreating. You can retreat all you like, but this is gonna hurt. Okay, that hurt a lot more than I expected it to. I should not have this much power in my hands. I just recon armor. Now, on a normal play when I'm not actually streaming or recording, I literally loot everything and walk out of this place completely over encumbered and walk to the absolute nearest trading outpost and sell everything down to the forks, the knives, and the spoons. That's where all the good stuff happens. Or I should actually say where all the good stuff is kept. 
I shot you in the leg and I somehow blew your head off. I love bloody mess. Just makes it so much more amusing. Let's see storage. You lied to me. That was not storage at all. Well, time to go upstairs. Why'd I even put it away? There's still somebody to shoot. Oh, they actually got out. Good for them. took a pot shot at me. It was probably this guy, but still. Very rude. Mm -hmm. Definitely lose your head over there. Oh, anyway, I was in the middle of looting. You guys should not interrupt me while I'm looting. You would have lived a little bit longer. Who wait, Bobby Pin. All right. I'll give it that much, Bucko. You tried. So it was storage. I just didn't go deep enough. Okay, it didn't lie, there was storage there. You? You're not supposed to be in here. What are you doing here? They... they captured me. Brought me here from Project Purity. I didn't want to help them at first, but... the technology they have here, it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. You've seen the kind of technology these people have. They want to help people. They want to change the wasteland. I couldn't pass up an opportunity to work in an environment like this. Look, it's not personal. Really, it's not. But Dr. Lee, she's scraping by. She's scavenging for parts in the wastes. <coughs> the Enclave has everything it needs. They're light years ahead of anything Dr. Lee could accomplish. Working here is my best chance to help make the world a better place. I'm sorry you see it that way. What are you going to do? Kill me over it? You should go. It sounds like you're in enough trouble as it is. And honestly, I don't want anyone to see me talking to you. Betrayed my daddy. So for me, worth it. That's what I want to get behind. Power fist.
Oh, that was nice for it being the first one. I love those. So we got grenades. We got plasma pistol. We have on type power armor. Well, my plasma pistol can be repaired now. I'll keep using the Waze rifle. No, it was going this way. The big door is not where I want to go yet. Oh no, I can. plasma rifle a little more. I can. Ah, I think this is actually Colonel Autumn's room. Energy weapons bobblehead. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so how did I screw up that badly? Yeah, it's me. <clears throat> Let's go for an ING first. Alright. It's not ING. box. Thank you. First aid box. Hello. And ammo box. That's nice to have. You guys came through here, which means you just showed me another way to go. Did I explore everywhere yet? No, I most certainly did not. This dungeon is a one-time place, so once you leave, you can never come back. So it's always good to explore everywhere and gather whatever you can. Which is why, generally, I will steal absolutely everything. That isn't bolted down for the sake of that reason. No, but it makes a big deal, though. Nothing. 
Jesus. Hi. Shot kill with the laser rifle. Some attack pattern, dude. Okay, his head went through the wall, so. Made up for it. usually unlocks a couple others. Concentrated fire, computer whiz. Okay. Action girl. An additional 25 points in vats. Means I can shoot people a little more. Alright, with that said and done, I did get my repair up there a little bit more. That. I can do that. I can do that. And I can actually. Can I do that. And I did loot those. No, I did not. Don't fail me now. Alright. Now I'm pretty sure I'm done on this floor. Now I can head up. Continue to... Exploration and soon destruction of this place. I don't think that's the way. Yeah, here we go. capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to 
ensure that our country's future is secured. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. Hmm. The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? Sure, why not? Excellent. I am pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time. I suggest you travel there immediately. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'll do what I can to help speed your exit. Really, do go on. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended, but shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. Because I've been programmed to be, of course. Processing. Internal logic error detected. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps, perhaps there is a problem. I, <coughs> I am unsure how to proceed. Analyzing command. New course of action dictated. Civilian is advised to secure hazardous FEV material to prevent explosive decompression. Civilian also advised to evacuate complex immediately. High level functions offline. And now this place is just going to hell. All it took was a cute little stab. Aw, couldn't even take the laser pistol properly. Now this place is falling apart.
welcome. Michael tells me that it's very hard locked, but it no longer operates. It's like they might tell me it's locked. That just means I can unlock it. And someone was clearly stashing stuff. So ING is basically out of it. had a missile launcher. Now, if only I was using a missile launcher right now. You have a Gatling laser. To which I can repair mine with, which I'm going to repair you. And now I leave.
last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Whoa, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Ugh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Well, that's an audio bug. All right, so world map. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Megaton, please. I would like to store a lot of my stuff. I'm also gonna boot you. Something troubling you, my friend. I'm disappointed, but I cannot. I like Fox, but I don't want to use a companion right now. Fix his helmet. <sighs> I somehow had a camera. Um, hey Moira. Actually, I'll see if one of the good traders is outside, because if I can get Crow's iBot helmet fixed, I'll be able to actually crack open the leader of the Brotherhood safe. I think he's got his own unique laser pistol. Oh, it's lucky here. Hey, dude, I need you. Looking to trade? Thank you. To the Citadel I go. I've still got time, I should be able to finish this off before I have to get ready for work. Brotherhood is at your service. Oh. It's going to be one of the...
of these ones. Ooh, so close. Smuggler's End. Yeah. Tektron's Gaze is a better one, but it also fragments. Alright, now I can continue it on. I got my lock picking up specifically for that, as stupid as that sounds. Because there's still a bunch of tumblers today around that I never grabbed, but with the amount of levels I get, it's okay. We sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Excellent. <coughs> then we must go at once. If you have any other information... I see. Thank you. All right. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but... We've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. 
We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! Now the fun begins. The end of the main game. <laughs> All right. This one I am going to use a 321 plasma rifle, mainly because. Obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic resonance barrier. Probability of mission entrance. Zero percent. Pick up a few.
to freedom. We are here. you
Yeah, look away in combat, buddy. Boxes are still low. You guys all suck. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. You're in over your head. Once... Well, that takes care of that. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Dr. Dr. Lee? Dr. Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the Lyons. control room. We're Please, both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tank. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage would be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there. Not exactly. So... You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's activated, you pain. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, 
sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. I wouldn't exactly say the greater good. Thankfully, either. when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes. <laughs> careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine. You're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. It's all right. You're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. <sighs> yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Bam. Please be.
next. Let's see, what other thing do I want? Why I never bothered actually taking that early, I don't know. Alright. This is where I'm going to end this one off. Yeah, I love those dramatic cutscenes. This is where I'm going to end it off. I've been streaming for four hours, and I work in, unfortunately, one hour. But, if you missed a good chunk of this, it goes up on my YouTube channel in the next couple of days. Just like when I started. I've recorded every stream session and put it on there for everybody to watch. I hope to see you next time, because I'm going to play through Broken Steel, which is this expansion, and then go through the other expansions before I head over to New Vegas. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye! Ooh, and thank you for the sub.